By the way, I saw this shit in Instagram stories. Absolute, like, 37-year-old still going to fucking mansion parties dressed like a strumpet. So, I mean, I you're one to fucking talk over here. So, okay. <laughs> yeah, you've been fucking chuckling out of your mouth the entire fucking night of me, so. Both in their 20s and teens and was just in 30s. And then once they got to 40, realized, like, all men are terrible. Then they had their little get in their groove back type. What about them women? Because what men are just, everyone they met was just trash and didn't deserve them. What about them? What about them? them? What, what you mean, what about them? They deserve love too. Well, y'all, okay, because those are the women, don't. y'all don't speak on them though. You speak up, so you speak on what you're attracted to. You're attracted to a woman who sleep with you the first day. You're meeting the whores that fuck all in their 20s and stuff. It's women out here what? that's not like that. Yeah, I agree me? that there's women out there who aren't like that. So wait, what, what about them? Meaning yeah, what you're what, saying what is just them, what you're yeah, looking that's... for. That's my point, my, what I see. You're saying when, everything you're describing, I don't even know. Like, that's terrible women. So that's what you're Wait. looking for. No, I, I listen, I agree with you. That's, yeah, that's what he's looking terri- for and what he's going to get. Those are terrible women. Well, what? well, hang on. Listen, I, you, well, you've, you've made kind of a conflation here. So I agree with you on one point and then disagree on a second point. The point that I agree with you on is, yes, a lot of fucking horrible women. Right, a lot of horrible women. I bet the point cool. I don't agree with you on is that um, because because a woman's willing to sleep with you quickly, that means she has a high body count. That, I that don't think that. Follow. I didn't say that. He said that. I don't think that. Yeah, but then, because then, she can then like understand. you what more than objection? everybody else. What is your objection? Because she can like you more than everybody else, and you was the one person that she allowed to be that way with. Yeah, I agree. But the objection was that he's going to meet that because like every woman he's describing, he's like, oh, when they get, and then when they get old, they want to be this. I'm saying, what about the ones who are already like that and then got fed up and got old and probably got fast then and started to sleep with people that still Well, I I will, well, I'll grant that such women exist where they stay chased throughout their 20s and 30s and then go to their You're looking for the ones that sleep with you the first night. That's why. Hang on, I just let you go. I just let you go. Let, let, him respond finish. Real let him talk. Let him talk. I will grant to you that those women exist. I just think it's far more common in the reverse that women usually go through their whole phase in their twenties, not in their forties. You would agree with me there, right? Um, I don't because. I mean, they're the most pursued in their twenties. So if they're the yeah, most pursued, but I don't their think chances that's... of having sex increase drastically. That's well, why most women in their twenties go through it, not in their forties. Well, I can't believe that because I'm a woman in her 20s who don't do that. So I, yeah, I know. But what about your peer group? A lot of them well, do that. Yeah, and there's some that don't, too. Yeah. yeah, there's some that don't. I agree with that, too. So I'm I feel like it's half and half. I, I, so let me just ask it to you like this. Don't you think that's far more likely you're going to run into a woman in her 20s who's going through a hoe phase than run into a woman in her 40s who went no, through no phase? No, I don't hang because on, it's all... <laughs> Let me finish the question. How do you even know how to answer it if I can't even finish it? So uh, don't you think it would be more common to run into a woman in her 20s going through a whole phase than a woman in her 40s who went through no phase? That's the question. You said rougher to find love? Yeah, it, wouldn't it be easier to find a woman in her 20s going through a whole phase a woman in her 40s who went through no phase? No, because there's innocent women everywhere. Yeah, that's not my question. I didn't ask if they exist. I said I no asked then. which is more common. No, more I don't common. think it's more common. You think it's more common that women go, I just, go through to the forties without it's... ever having any sexual partners? That's you insane. see how y'all no Wait, data bears this out mind. anywhere. You it's see how when I talk, you don't let me finish, then you interrupt me. But as soon as I can try you to talk continue, right now. I'm let, and all you're okay. doing is using your time Scoot, to complain. Scoot, just okay. go. Okay, it's women everywhere. It's four billion people in the world. Like it's women who fucking no, there's eight live in a cot. Eight the world. billion there's people. Eight billion people in the world. Okay. Eight. Okay, great. Oh, you you couldn't wait for that, huh? That's a joke. You joke, joke. Oh. <laughs> Got you. Well, as your English teacher, I have to correct you on these things. You're right, Mr. Eight, Watson. Eight billion. Wilson. You're, Go ahead. you're right, Mr. Wilson. Mr. Wilson, get it right. <laughs> you're right. Okay, but listen, it's women who live in a freaking cottage 
who's not thinking about none of that and they just used to living in a cottage. So no, I wouldn't say that's half of women. I would say wherever you live, that's them women. And then wherever he lives, that's them women. And I think that's what you're pursuing and that's what you get and what you're looking for. Like you said, women, you want a millionaire, you want this, it's delusion. I think you're delusional as well. Okay, well then, now you agree that I just let you go through that. Let me just ask you a few yes or, yes or no questions, right? None of them are gonna be preloaded, meaning I'm not, I'm not loading them up with like presuppositions, okay? Just basic yes or no questions. Do you agree that women generally are more attractive in their 20s than in their 40s? Not all women, just generally women are Gen more attractive yes, in their 20s. Yes, I agree. Than their 40s. Generally, yeah, usually, okay. usually. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree with that. Okay, so if that is the case, then wouldn't that necessarily expand the amount of sexual partners available to women in their 20s? No, because when you're beautiful, what? you, you no, know, because when you're beautiful, I would know. Listen, to a beautiful, broke my skill woman. I personally feel like when you're beautiful, it's harder because you don't know who to give your love to. You don't know who to give your anything to. So you hold out more because they don't deserve it and you don't want to give it to the wrong person. Okay, listen, listen, hang on. There's a couple of uh, presuppositions there which are wrong, or just suppositions that are wrong. So the first one is most women are not <laughs> over the over the top beautiful. That's insane. You even you have to agree that most women are not ten out of ten. But Other, otherwise, hang on. Otherwise, we wouldn't have an average. So the thing is, is that if most but some of them men are average, hang on. Let me like finish. The baddest. Let me finish. If most of them are average. They're still going to be more attractive in their 20s than in their 40s, which we agreed, which means that even the average woman is still going to have way more access to sexual partners in their 20s and their 40s, right? Average doesn't mean you're not fucking, though. Like, That's my just point. She's, That's what? my point. Okay, That's no, but point. you're what? saying they're more attractive, though, and I'm saying that doesn't mean, like, what you're saying about looks don't mean that they're in it, doing it more because they're in their 20s and young. It's not about yeah. They're that. more if they're more attractive, and they're average. They're still average in their forties. They're just also average in their twenties. No, and because more some people in their get 20s. better so with that's age. The case, you already agreed that most women are more attractive no, in their twenties than their forties. Oh, no, you already agreed to that. Because some people get anymore. better with age, and shoot, they get surgery and stuff and start looking better sometimes. Then so why did you just say true. that women on average in their 20s are better looking than they are in their 40s? You said, is it true, majority are. Yes, yeah. but I said that don't mean they're sleeping with people and being fast. I said you could be average getting fucked, and you could be uh, any type of look yeah, getting but fucked. Why, don't you understand that your own logic says that the women who are in their 20s are more attractive, they have more Access sexual partners, therefore, that's but that don't women. mean they're using on, what they on, got. On, I just listen, you gotta let him finish. You gotta let him finish. Go ahead. If that is the case, that there's more attractive in their 20s, they have more access to more sexual partners, that would explain why it is that they have more sex in their 20s with more sexual partners than in their 40s. It's because of availability. I still don't agree. I don't even like me personally. Based on nothing. No, <laughs> based but based on, how you on feel? no, based on my life, I don't think I at my. That's 20s, how you feel. That's anecdotal. Yeah, because at my twenties, I didn't do much. So I think people say that, and I don't. That's not true. All so right, let me ask. You're you not young, fine, in your twenties. Okay. Well, okay. So I'm answering from a twenty-year-old who. Yeah. A lot of people yeah, like. I, I get it. I get it. You're not fast and loose. Great, right? I'm asking. I'm going to ask you a direct question though. And I'm hoping you don't lie to me on this one, okay? Out of all of your friends in your peer group, out of all your friends in your peer group and all of your acquaintances in your peer group who are around the same age as you and female, how many of them are loose? Are loose? Meaning they have multiple sexual partners. Um, I don't know, because I keep my, my... Just guess, guess. I personally don't know. People not going to tell mm -hmm. me, because I'm, I'm more of like... Mm -hmm. I'm not, I'm a more of an innocent friend. I've always been like that. Like, yeah, I got a big mouth and I could talk and debate, but that don't mean I'm fast. Yes, just that, guess. That doesn't mean I'm fast. What's so, your best get? I, they don't tell me anything. When you're yeah, the you good, guess, when you're you the goody two shoe, everyone's not going to tell you they're, oh, I slept with that dude in the bathroom last night at the party. Uh -huh. They're not going to mm -hmm. tell you. So, like, you don't know everyone's life. And I'm telling you, my friends don't tell me. So, from what I know, okay. they're. How many, okay, how many of your close friends you have? How many, would you say that you have at least two best friends? 
I have one best friend, and my dog is my and other best would friend. You, does, does any of your best friends or your very close friends have multiple sexual partners? And now, go ahead and lie to me and say you guys never talk about sex, so I can go ahead and dismiss the next thing you say. All right, go ahead. Just say, Andrew. Have I had a friend? Sex? Have I had a friend who had multiple sex partners? Yes. Everyone has had a friend. Shit. I could That's be not what I asked you. I didn't ask if you've ever had a friend that had multiple sexual partners. I asked you, said she never talked to any of the acquaintances that you know about sex. She's the only one woman on planet Earth who doesn't talk about with your friends about sex. Uh, the close ones, at least, I would assume you do. No, my That's close they. ones are. No. Okay. no, my close ones are dealing with the same guys currently. So yes, the yeah, close so people. Have they had multiple sexual partners then. In the past, I don't know. No, you don't know. Okay. Other people's right. sexuality is not my business, like what they're doing. Mm -hmm. I'm just, I can only speak about me. I know. Okay. That, I mean, the reason that you, oh, the reason okay. that you oh, have okay. like the, um, the, this smile going is because you know, and I know, and the audience knows, you're full of shit. And you know for I'm sure not full of shit. which one of your friends have had multiple sex partners, and you guys talk about sex, and you're lying through your it's, teeth. Listen, you're lying we through just, your teeth. You don't even know if I have friends. What if my dog's my well, only friend? You just friend? said you had friends. I said, and I said no, that she's talking to, like, the ones I'm around, they're talking to the same people that they've been uh -huh. talking to and dealing with. So what All you right. don't know them women life. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How many years have you been friends with them? Um, the current ones right now, mm -hmm. not that long. I moved here, and my current friends are from L.A., and I just moved to L.A. last year, so nobody mm -hmm. longer than a year. Okay. So like I said, I don't, know, I don't know people past, but I know what's going on now, and the ones I'm around now, they're talking to the same people. If they decide to have numerous ones later, that's on them. Will they tell me? Look, I look, don't I know. Can't, I can't do anything to have even a rational conversation with you if every time I ask you a question, you lie to me. Like, I can't. I can't. So here's the thing. I'm going to point out I'm multiple lying? lies. That you were, I'm going to point out multiple lies. Here's lie number one, right? When I literally asked you, are women generally more attractive in their 20s and in their 40s? You say yes. I say, well, then that gives them access to more sexual partners, so why would they go through the whole phase in their 20s rather than their 40s? You still disputed this based on nothing. Just literally, because they're more nothing. attractive fact, don't you would, you mean they're having the sex. The logical entailment yeah. is that you have to agree with that, right? To me, just because you're, you're more attractive in your 20s don't mean you're having more sex in your 20s. You just assume that. No, just and generally. And it's people you who are. get better just with age. Generally, you are. It's people who like, get better. How when you have the highest libido? Y'all never the most say he interrupts me, and I don't like sex? that. How? Can you explain that to me? You said how what? in the world, in the age where you have the most amount of libido and you're the most attractive, are you having the least amount of sex? Can you explain that to because me? Because men don't deserve it. They're like y'all. Oh, okay. They're like y'all. Fast. Okay. Fast. He fast. Mm -hmm. He don't want you. Look at the questions they asking you. I never even watched your podcast. Now I know you're a slut because of how they explained it. <laughs> she told on you. She told on you. I know who's sleeping. The co the conversations you guys are having you know what? is wait, letting wait, wait, me wait. know on, no, no, no. Stop, stop, the type stop. of man you are. Stop. Go ahead and say what you what you just said. I said I would love to know who's sleeping with you in one to three dates. Yeah, that is, I, what, I don't actually so, care. Yeah, that just find that hard what to believe as well. What type of woman is sleeping with you one to three days? And are they on any substance? <laughs> what? <laughs> um, th this is LA. You just gotta ask. <laughs> Wait, is that why you ask me if I do math? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. He's like, oh, I can take her back later. <laughs> Um, Brian, can I ask though, like, how long would you like max wait for someone if they were a virgin and you were dating them? He's like, I wouldn't how date long a virgin. Would I wait if they were a virgin. If they were a virgin, <laughs> would you even date a virgin? Sure. Yeah, I've dated virgins before. Okay. I mean, it, it really varies, you know. Uh, if I really like her, if you really like her, if I really like her, if it's kind of lukewarm, you know, it's hard to pinpoint a number on it. Typically, though, I mean, in terms of what I'm looking for in a relationship, uh, I'm not really interested in waiting long periods of time before having sex. What if she like folds your laundry, stirs your noodles? Like, sure, she you can know. get she can <laughs> she can uh, get a couple <laughs> extra dates out of me, probably. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> so yeah. why waste the time? 
What do you mean? Dealing with the virgin. I date women who are not virgins. <laughs> it's like, it's interesting though. Like, would I date a virgin? Yes. But I'd also, I also date women who are not virgins. Most of the women I've dated and date, you know, in terms of my dating experience, mm -hmm. not virgins. Have I dated virgins? Yes. I mean, every, but, come on now. See, you were young once. Of course you dated virgins. No, I've dated <laughs> even when I was in my late 20s, early 30s. Late 20s is not that bad to be a virgin. Have you looked at the statistics in modernity? Like I said, it's the people y'all know. Wait, this, this, you know what's funny? This no, 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 no. Hang on, hang on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you the refutation here. Do you want me to tell you what your chances are of being a woman who's a virgin in your late 20s in the year 2024? It's not like that many. I don't even want to go down that route with you. I agree. They're mostly what do you think? What do you think the percentage is? Probably only 10%, but it's some out there, and I've met them. Who's been like, bitch, I'm 30 and I don't, you know, do anything. And that's. Yeah, I agree that there's virgins who exist in their 30s and that they're rare. Right. But what do you think? That, what did you say you thought the percentage was? Probably 10 percent. But 10 how would y'all know about the vir about them? How would you know? Mm. So um, just so you know, I just want to I just want to let you know, uh, by the time they're in their uh, late 20s, right? 94% have lost their virginity. Okay, so 6%. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but they don't know this whole world. So I'm going to still go with my answer, 10%. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you might as well double down on it. Here, I need to read a chat. Holy botched surgery says, the 37-year-old in the pink shirt, when did you transition to female? Do you want to answer that? I think they're just mad at anybody who I don't speaks. Even care. It's going through the air in between my ears, okay? <laughs> Hmm. I just think they're all upset. And then I do want to, because your mic was muted while we were doing this. Um, you are, or I don't know if I, wait, 27. Yes. Will you be better? Wait, did I ask you? You did, this? you did, and I said yes. No, but it, we got cut off, I think. Okay, so, or wait. We did the whole table. We did. We did the, no, yeah. no, but we went into it for like 30 minutes. You and Andrew had the back and forth. Then I did the whole table. So mm -hmm. let me just get a definitive here. Uh, better looking in 10 years' time at 37. Yes. 20 years time at 47. No. Well, I don't know. Honestly, I have one of those youthful looks. <laughs> like if so we yes, if we yes went around no. like Just give me a yes or no. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Okay. For real cuz I don't know. I that's 20 and a half. That's more years. Yeah, 30 years time at 57 versus now. Because I could cut my hair, do Here, this whole look like you don't just know. It might answer, kill it. <laughs> just answer the question. Then yes, cuz I don't see myself letting myself go. And I think that I'll just spice it up and give different looks. And it's 40, it's 30 year olds, grandmas, you'd be like, look better than okay. 20 year olds all the time. So I don't see why. Yes, me. people can still be attractive when they're older. But the question is not, will you still be attractive? Are there attractive 30, 40, 50, 60 Will I look olds? better? No. Will you look better? Okay. No. But 30s, maybe. All right. And you're 27. Were you better looking at 18? No. Than you are now at 27? No. Okay. All right. So I want to try to actually have the back and forth before other people actually jump in on this. So you, again, your uh, disagreement or criticism is that I want to sleep with women relatively quickly, mm -hmm. but I also want a woman with a low body count. Yeah. Okay. Um, what's actually wrong with that? Or what? what <laughs> what's the issue? I'm just saying that I think most women that have a low body count have a low body count for a reason, whether that be like religious or like what's it, a what's a low body count to you like zero to ten maybe five zero to five zero to five i, I would mean, consider zero. oh i'm sorry you wanted to have the back i'm sorry no go ahead andrew i was gonna say i think that ten's a high body count okay so i do to too i think one hand wait so it'd be unreasonable for me to let's say a woman has a body count of seven and what? she had like three hookups and like four relationships, that would be unreasonable scenario for me to want to hook up within three dates. Not in that scenario, but like okay. say she hasn't slept with anyone for like a year. But she previously slept with like 10 people super five. quick. Let's go with five. But she's been celibate for a year. Yeah. Yeah. Still, still find it objectionable. It would just be a mismatch. Look, women, you can, <laughs> it's free. You're free to do whatever you want. If it's not going to be a question of pressure, it would just be like, 
oh, we have a different timeline here in the mm -hmm. same way, like I'm sure most of you here, well, maybe some of you are okay with waiting till marriage. There are women here at the table who would not want to yourselves wait until marriage to have sex, right? I will so, wait. okay, that's fine. In any case, people are allowed to have preferences when it comes to this, whether you're a man or a woman, if you wanna, if your timeline mismatches what the other person's timeline is, it's not a good match, find somebody else. I agree. I just feel like it's not common, like as Andrew was saying, that you'll not find- common. Not common if somebody hasn't slept with anyone in a long time or doesn't sleep around to sleep Well, with these are two different quickly. categories. So hasn't slept with somebody for a long time and has a low body count. So a woman could have a hundred body count, but could be celibate for the past year. Mm -hmm. I would think in that scenario, it'd be ridiculous if I come into her life that she would want, I, well, I wouldn't want to date her because of her body count, but I'd be like, that's ridiculous. This is not a good match. Find somebody else who's willing to so wait. So you're dating for the body count while she's just dating to find love and she's trying to change her life. What I'm? What is your actual argument? If you don't get it, don't question it. Move forward. Yeah, I'm not obliged to date a woman because she's looking for love. N Nobody is owed a you relationship. You were looking for the body. She's not owed a relationship. That's what it sounds like. I'm sure if she what? stopped, if, I'm sure if she stopped after a hundred, that she probably is looking for a real thing now. And yeah, good for her. But she, right. So you're not. So then why yeah, would y'all talk? Owe her, period. I don't owe a woman. A relationship. I don't think you owe her a relationship. I just think you should tell her, like, hey, I know you got a hundred bodies. That's why I'm here. And maybe y'all won't have issues after. I wouldn't date a woman with a body count. Of so why girl. even have the question about someone stopping for a year as an if you wouldn't give her an example? She would never I be an example. You need to stop fucking cutting in so I can have a back and forth with her. I be say stuck my on this opinion. For too long. Go ahead. I think you're in the middle of saying something. Um. No, I kind of lost my train of thought. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm just, again, I'm still confused. So she's got a body count of between 5 and 10. You think it's unreasonable for me to have a want to sleep with her within three dates? I guess the crux of my criticism is, like, what are you, like, bringing to the table, you know, like, so quickly into the date that she would be willing to sleep with you if she hasn't in a long time or has a low body count? That's what I'm... Well, I don't think that's your point because I mean, in your show notes here. Well, I mean, I suppose it, it does have to do. Yeah, because I kind of said bit. it was like. Yeah, you're seems, a little sassy with it. It seems but. like your dates, your first date would be more like an interview rather than like a connection being there. And so yeah. I just. Tell me, tell me how you came to that conclusion. Well, because you'll ask questions like, you know, how, how many people have you slept with? Are you willing to fold my laundry? Are you willing to stir my noodles? <laughs> like, right. You said, so in your notes, you said. Like, bro, why would anyone want to sleep with Brian <laughs> right away when his first date's like an interview? Probably, hey, I'm Brian. Are you okay with the fact that we won't get married? How do mm -hmm. you feel about stirring my noodles and folding my laundry? What's your body count? Are you willing to bow? If I was a chaste woman <laughs> on a date with Brian, I wouldn't think, whoa, this dude who just interviewed me is so great. Now I'm going to immediately give up my chastity. Based. Um, yeah, so I mean, that's what you said. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, there's a couple things here. So I would say that the way I'm conducting myself in the midst of an adversarial podcast is going to be very different than how I'm conducting myself one-on-one. -on -one, yeah, and uh, I thought about a, that in too. In a romantic, intimate setting. Uh, so, you know, for example, like you might, I mean, the way somebody might conduct themselves where there's an expectation that you're having adversarial conversations is not how they're going to be conducting themselves when they're dating somebody we could do a mock date if you want <laughs> you're in a relationship why would you say that for podcasts for views <laughs> uh a mock date y'all yeah. let y'all fans come on the podcast and now you upset this is what you get I'm, I'm you let not. your fans come on the box. I'm the only Shut one not a fan oh for real. God. I don't even know what the fuck going up. I'm finna leave in a little too. I'm not. I'm not <laughs> upset. We're just having the exchange. He said, "Why would you say that?" <laughs> well, it's just peculiar, given that you're in a relationship. But um, I think you would think it's funny. The mock date. Yeah. Uh, like if we're, like not not actually like I mean like right here, like. 
role play. I mean, though, this is not right like now. really a scenario in which would be organic or conducive to like. You hey, are what she said for you views. You gotta stop fucking for interrupting. Views. Kindly stop fucking interrupting, please and thank you. So, look. This sort of environment would not be particularly conducive or representative of how a That's conversation true. might uh, play out in a more uh, typical setting when it comes to a first date. But I actually, even like, even if I grant to you that I do take on a bit of a interviewing capacity with, uh, you know, I know she's laughing over here. By the way, I saw this chick's fucking Instagram stories. Absolute, like, 37-year-old still going to fucking mansion parties dressed like a fucking strumpet. So, I mean, I you're one to fucking talk over here. So, okay. <laughs> yeah, you've been fucking chuckling out of your mouth the entire fucking night of me, so. Thanks for stalking me. <laughs> How is it stalking? You didn't look stalking? before the podcast, so that must have just happened. Yeah, I was reposting people's stories, lady. Okay. So, um... What would actually be wrong if I were to ask women questions before agreeing to meet with them? I think that's fine, but it kind of seems like maybe those questions wouldn't be super organic. Like on the first to third date, I would assume you'd ask that later on. Yeah, like how do you put it into conversation? Oh, is this like, a rage, rage quit, okay. rage quit over here? I'm not angry. I'm just embarrassed. Are you, are you quitting? Yeah. It's a quit. Yeah. I think it's because we didn't know when we got invited that it would be like mean mean people coming through. I, I personally don't Bro, care. I love that this woman's quitting when she's been mocking and laughing at me the entire I'm fucking bored. show. I don't know how I want to leave. She didn't. You're bored because you've got fucking TikTok brain because you're oh my god bro you there's too much fucking botox in your face bro your lips look like fucking clown clown fucking lips. Bro, you've been talking shit all night. The one thing I said to you was giving you the slightest milk toast pushback to you wanting to date a millionaire. That's the extent of the pushback I gave. If you have a gripe with Andrew, that's fine. I wasn't really even that rude to you. But you've been at me all night. I mean, I personally, from the beginning, y'all were laughing at her. He laughed at her on there for sure, before she Bro, laughed. Bro, if I said, if I sat here and I was like, I want a 19-year-old virgin Victoria's Secret model, y'all would fucking clown me. You know why I would clown would you? Y'all would fucking clown me. Not because she's I mean, Victoria's I would, Secret. I would also. I would clown I would. you because you said 19 and you old as fuck. That's weird. That's why I would clown you. Not because of Victoria's Secret, because you could find that. They're not, some of them right. ain't all that good looking. <laughs> so you, you think it's delusional that I could get a woman of that caliber, okay? We think it's delusional that she's a 37-year-old woman who wants to date a millionaire. But she already is dating them. She Where's says the that. Where's the ring? As a woman, just because guys are Everyone fucking doesn't stop get interrupting. Married. As a woman, a W is not fucking multiple guys. The W is getting the ring. Until you have the ring, it doesn't mean shit. That's so sad that people That's think not that, sad. Though. It is because Bro, everyone don't deserve to be married. Women's metric of success is not being able to fuck a guy. You get the W when you get commitment. She's f dating three dudes. She doesn't have the ring. So she doesn't she, have commitment. But what if she got proposed by one of them and she's she turned them down? She's dating three dudes. She doesn't have the commitment. Point blank, period. Y'all women think the W is fucking successful rich dudes? Nah. No, I don't think that. Nah. That's why I don't have countless meaningless sex. I don't do stuff like that because I know it's it's not that. Can you that's not fix the way. your mic and stop moving it kindly. That's not the way to do it. But she never said she was dealing with numerous ones. She said only one, and that was her ex. That was the rich one. She said, and she said all of them make more than a million. When you said five hundred, actually wait, you three. So scoot she does, down? doesn't seem like she's lying. She drives a McLaren. You two, scoot I down, mean, please. it is what it is. That's cool. All right, I'm going to read a couple chats here. Hold on. Guys. Christ is Lord donated $200. Brian, a true traditional woman strives to wait until marriage, and you want a woman that doesn't wait. You have a double standard against traditional values. There's no way around this stuff. Andrew agrees. I'm, but I'm there not a, I'm not like a hundred percent a traditional man. Brandon, I'm not, married. I don't want to get married. I don't want to get married, so I don't really see what the issue is. Um, but I would like the chatter to respond to the paradox of, I think I think that this position I is strong. So I agree in the no, spirit of family. the idea <laughs> that the, the chatter is kind of right here, but I do think that Brian's point with the paradox is true, which is that 
if you have a woman who has been promiscuous in the past and suddenly she's going to make you wait, that seems fucked up from the waiter's perspective, right? That seems like, oh, all these other men were good enough for you, but not me. And I still haven't actually heard a good answer to that. So uh, maybe Chatter, what was maybe you can question? actually respond to that argument. What was the answer you were looking for? I wasn't looking for an answer. You said I haven't heard a good answer from that yet, Chatter. Argument, good argument. Argument, ch Chatter. I I want to just give my opinion too. Go ahead. What was the answer you were looking for? Say it again. I was looking for an argument for this. So here's the paradox. Uh, if a woman has slept with multiple men before you very quickly, but she wants to make you wait because she's turning over a new leaf, uh, from the perspective of the man who she's turning the new leaf over for, it seems like basically she's saying you're not good enough and these other men were. No, I don't think so. Even though I can't relate to her at all and what she's got going on, that's not my life. I'm just speaking... First of all, none of these are my life. I'm just speaking on every one topic because that's what we're here to Yeah, talk. no, I understand. Yeah. But I think that... I don't think that's it. I think she's probably just trying to change her life. Like he said, he doesn't want someone who did all that didn't try to change their life. So they're just not meant to be right away, like he said. I it's agree just, that they're I just, just trying to change their life. I just don't think they should start either. Like, if, as soon as she says 100 <sighs> bodies, then you should say bye. Anything else, expecting sex and something from her when she's saying she's changing, you shouldn't be upset about. Yeah, I just wouldn't date her. Exactly. Yeah. So then we're But, like, not. what's more delusional? Her wanting a millionaire, a less than 1% man, or me wanting to sleep with a woman with a sub-10 body count in three dates or less? What's more delusional? Why don't you answer the question? I mean, I guess the millionaire would be more delusional. What do you mean? I don't think like, you guess. Okay, it is. Mm -hmm. It is more delusional. Okay. But so, going back to your crit your further criticisms on this, mm -hmm. what would actually be wrong with like asking someone questions when getting to meet them? I mean, it's fine if it's organic, but what? Who cares if it's organic or not? It's just, I feel like if you're on a date and you're trying to build chemistry and like a connection, then the <laughs> the questions like that kind of come off more like interview and like business, like a transaction yeah, right. rather than like a chemistry thing. Sorry, man. We got to be careful here. Um, okay. So whose job is it on a date to uh, bring the vibe? I think both. Really? Yeah, of course. Mm. Okay. Go ahead. Let's do the let's do the <laughs> role play. Go ahead. All right. Hi, Brian. Um. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> well, well done. Okay. Hey, how how was your day? Um, it was pretty good. Yeah. Um, I went surfing today. Caught a big wave. How about you? Oh yeah, where did you surf? I surfed in San Diego. So oh, yeah? drove drove here. Nice, yeah. nice. I just did some work today. You know, took it easy. <laughs> now I'm here with you. <laughs> Well, I think we're having a good time. What's your body count? <laughs> All right, bro. All right. Damn. I want to know. Okay, sorry. I want to know. Like, I kind of right, froze. Gonna, You're it's right. probably it's like a it is awkward on the date. Like, it is awkward on, on the podcast, I will say. Look, why you get uncomfortable you when just, she asked that? Can you just straighten the mic? Why did you get uncomfortable when she asked about your body count? You asked about women's life in I, general all day I wasn't uncomfortable okay so how was the was number so that she was i was like prepared to engage with her in good faith and, and she then went she straight to that went, she just yeah trolled. i don't know she it's, just, it's, it's kind of nerve-wracking so. <laughs> no because it's like she was trying to make a point like mm -hmm. if you're on a date how do you interject that into the conversation without it being weird yeah bro like, okay well first off i it's hard for me to give prescriptive advice to most men because I'm in this sort of interesting scenario where in terms of the women I've started to date, they're reaching out to me. So I, it's difficult to give them good prescriptive advice because most men are not in that position. So with me, yeah, I'm fucking screening these chicks hardcore. Because they want your views and not you. Here in the, oh my God. First off, not an idiot. Nah, I'm saying you are what because, people think. Because if, Look at her flirting stop, with you stop, with her stop, boyfriend stop. because you have views. My point. That doesn't matter. But prove it's your okay. I've got to go too. It yeah, was fun. Yeah, so hold on. Let me respond to you. 
So here's the funny thing about that. You don't have to go. Hold on. I do. Listen, I know I'm the party. I'll come back with Hold my on. fro and no makeup on for you guys later in my Victoria's Secret Just outfit. Sit, for chill y'all out. Later, another I'll respond day. to but you. But I gotta go right nah, now. I'll respond to you. I came so. with her and she and you ruined it. She didn't like. She she's leaving. My stuff's in well, her tell, car. Tell her to come back. She's upset. She's coming back. Just no. tell her to fucking go. Tell tell her if she comes back, I'll give her a a fresh two dollar bill, <laughs> a fucking uh what what. what what are the rice crispy treat, applesauce, and you know a- how much a two dollar bill is worth now? I yeah, have one in my phone. What I was gonna so say. So wait, wait, hold on. Let me answer your thing really quick, and then we can have a discussion over your your lady friend who just dipped. So okay, if a girl, if she's trying to like clout farm me or whatever, which is not something I've actually ever encountered, it's a terrible idea because any girl I date is never getting even an a, a shrivel, a crumb of any but public still facing try. and that's when you no, gotta because i keep my re- stop you gotta stop fucking interrupting i keep my relationships very private my family very private my friendships very private if i'm dating a girl i could be dating her for two years nobody fucking knows i'm not telling anybody about it okay. so if she's trying to date me to get some sort of benefits for clout <clears throat> it's one you're not gonna get it Two, I'm just not public like that with my relationships. I don't do what these other influencers do where they fucking are in relationships publicly. Okay. It's private. And I don't date Instagram chicks. I don't date social media girls. Or model. I don't date content creators. Okay. Or money they might use you sure. for. It Maybe don't they have could to want. Be. Sure. Maybe they I don't want even know if money. you have money. I just know you got a box. I am broke. You're right. I am broke. I don't think you're I broke. I am a starving college But you student. might be, you know, regular compared to her wanting a millionaire. And the only way that she go come back is if you bring her a millionaire. So figure it out. I got, we got millionaires in the chat. Okay. Any millionaires? Many, many millionaires. There's a, we got some millionaires Can in the chat. Can y'all please send my, my friends some In money. fact, we have the Burger King in chat. Yikes, shave your baby hair donated $200. Red is goldfish tier content. Let's involve everyone else. Panel, what is the biggest red flag job for men and why? Red Brian and job. Andrew, same question for women. But why is it sales? Red flag job. Okay. Well, Look, look, your friend left. Tell her to come back. It's all good. Uh, I don't think it she's got coming heated. back. We just met it y'all. So when it get heated, heated, when you just met him and then you leave. Yeah, him. but like, what did she do to contribute to that? Um, the co- You got to understand all these people speaking to like unless we were getting paid off of every comment. She's not going to want to hear like the comments that people are making me I don't care because I'm me like I whatever people say it don't matter I'm gonna leave out here still being me I start my own channel sure. y'all actually just gave me a good idea thank you <laughs> and my new podcast hey. <laughs> shout out London two is underscore R blah, blah, follow blah, me blah, 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 send blah, blah, me buddy I don't do OnlyFans <laughs> Are you jealous? Like, jealous. Kind of American Idol where you're like, I'm going to be a singer. I'll teach you. I'm going to be a singer. I'll show you, Simon. Is that is that basically what yeah, you're doing? Uh, yeah, you know what? I did do that. And he's <laughs> in the, on the like, little game. And he was like, you boo. Go, you suck. And it hurt my feelings as a kid. It really did. You Wait, know, you, 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 you went on... You went on American Idol? No, I was just playing. Wait, what the part? Game. Of, what I part was just of, playing uh, the game at home on my Wii. <laughs> <laughs> on the Wii back in the day. Wait, what? What part of LA? And he got booed off on the game. Yeah. He fucked it up in the game. I know. I know. It's crazy. You're taking you're taking some L's tonight. You're taking some L's. That, I, it's okay. I mean, I don't think so because I'm still beautiful. <laughs> still gonna leave out here, and you know. It was fun. Yeah, so what part of LA do you live in? Studio City. Studio City. Who lives in, who came from LA? Me, Did the girl who lived. What part of LA are you in? The Valley. Oh, the Studio City is before the Valley. It is the Valley. The valley. It, they well, say I, don't know. I just don't want to get like too into it. Well, we don't need to look at uh, Are you down oh, to yeah. be her ride? Damn, just some volunteer me. No, I'm asking. it's okay. I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with her. My stuff's already in her car, and I feel bad. I every, everybody don't want to go through what happened here tonight. Before you leave, what's your body count? Mm. Yeah, 
one hand and not the whole hand, and that's why I act how I act. So you know, you guys have a good night. Or you. Oh, and I'm natural. No, no, nothing. Like this is me. Natural. Uh, that's have a good, have a good night. Have a good night. If you guys want me again, I actually don't mind. It was funny and interesting. Like I don't, I don't care about negative people. I know it's a. Okay, people. look, you either got to get your friend to come back or you just got to leave. We can't keep having the combo. I know, that's what so I'm saying. So go, go talk to her. Back. Go talk to her. See if she wants to come back. Otherwise, you just got to get out of here. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Peace out. Peace out with you too, homie. I swear to Good talk. Good talk. Good times. All right, that was a double, I guess a double rage quit. If we, maybe we can get the, can we, do we get the? Lewandowski for the hat trick! So close. Put it in! Oh my word, this is one of Lewandowski's finest performances. Thank you, thank you. All right, out you go. Out you go. Out you go. A little less conversation, a little more action, please. Thank you, Elvis. Good musician. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, guys. Well, uh, we have uh, Morgan joining us. We have uh, Anissa joining us. They're now part of the panel. Um, your thoughts, Andrew? Uh, I'm just breathing a collective sigh of relief on behalf of the entire panel. Mm. Now maybe we can get to the show. Yeah, I know. It's, we can actually get through some of the notes here. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. The so. chick with a star on her head, right? If you got a star.